Hi, everyone. Michael Brown back with you again. Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 course. You've learned all the tools, techniques, and features, and ways to modify, adjust, selections, corrections, retouch, and manipulation to make your images great, make composites, all sorts of options for that. In these series of lessons now, I'm showing you some creative ideas to stimulate your own personal artistic vision. In Adobe Photoshop Elements, and Photoshop doesn't even have these, we have options to create items. Prints, just standard printing, but photo books, greeting cards, photo calendars, collages, CD jackets, DV jackets, and labels. Kind of cool. The Create menu appears in here in the editor, as well as in the organizer. What we're going to do here in this lesson and the next lesson, it's a two-part lesson on creating a photo book. Photo books are high-quality books that you can put on your coffee table. If you're a professional photographer or graphic designer, you can actually make a portfolio that you can utilize to help you in your work. And these books are super quality, so it really helps you. In this lesson, we're going to talk about preparing the images that you want for the book, creating a new album in Organizer, arranging the images in the order that you want. You don't have to do it perfectly, but by arranging them in Organizer, when it loads them up in the template, it will be generally what you want and save you some time. You can actually modify it within once you get them up there. We're going to talk about photo book, photo book basic layout options. Again, there are a series of templates that are available. You get the one that's the closest to what you might like, and you can modify it and customize it as you go. And we'll take a look at the photo book workspace. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's go over to the organizer. Now, first thing you want to do is get all of the, image that the images that you want to put into the photo book. Put them into a separate folder somewhere. And then you want to import them into the organizer. Now, here is the folder that contains all of the images that I've selected that I might use for this photo book. And the reason I have made, and you're going to need to make an album, same images, is that you can open these images in editor. But for the photo book, if you want to arrange your images, in an order that you want them to appear in the book rather than the order that they are in the folder. If you click and drag an image, you get this no uh, icon. You cannot adjust and rearrange the order of the images in a folder. That's the physical image in a folder somewhere on your computer. So what you want to do is you take the folder and create an album. And you remember how to do that in Organizer, the plus sign, new album, highlight the images, drag them in, put them wherever you want to. I have already created an album last night for this lesson. And here are the images now. And remember, these are not the actual images. They are proxy thumbnails that are connected to the images in the folder in your computer. So here they are. And I have already prearranged them pretty much in the order that I want. Let's see if we could change or modify any of these. Um, for example, I might want to take this image here and use it as my headline image. It's a gorgeous image. I can rearrange it simply by grabbing the image and dragging it. Notice the plus sign allows me to move images. Now it's the first image in line, and it's a lot like this one. So I'm going to change the order here. And these look pretty good. This one, perhaps I'd move. No, I think I'll leave it that way. Um, scroll down and looking in here. Here's a composite that I may not want to be part of the photo book at all. So I can do this. And here's something, just a reminder about Organizer. I'll highlight the image. And I'll hit on a Mac Delete on a PC Backspace. The selected item will be deleted from the catalog, and it said also delete from the hard disk. I don't want to do that. When it says deleted from the catalog, that means from the organizer. It will take it out of this album as well as out of the folder, but it still resides in the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. That one disappeared, and I want to show you down in the folder, you will not see 
that orange rear view, that Corvette, but it's still in, and I'll show you, import from files and folders, and we'll go down here, and let me show you, let me find the Corvette. There it is right there. There's the thumbnail. If I get the media, it comes back in. We'll go back to the organizer, and I'm going to put it. It's in that folder now. It should be. Let's put it in the folder right there. And we do take a look. Now we go down in the folder, and there it is back in. But it does not reside in this album. Okay? Just a reminder on how you delete images. So now we have the images generally organized. And what I'm going to do for the original example here is I'm just going to select a few images. I'll highlight the first. We'll do all of these landscape images just for the heck of it. Three, five, seven, nine images. Now you have your images highlighted right here in the organizer. We won't go back to the editor because we don't want to open up the images that are in the editor for create. The create button here will open up these images. If I do it over in the editor, only the images that are open in the editor will come in. So we're here in the organizer, got our images highlighted, go to the create button, go to photo book,